So good day everyone. Uh, welcome to our subject, bookkeeping. So before we are going to uh, formally or maybe start with our real topic, which is the bookkeeping, we need to understand first some uh, factors or some lessons related to bookkeeping. And one of that is we need to understand first what is accounting and why is it important for our subject and for uh, for the business sector. I know that you are a UMS student, so uh, I hope you will try to uh, not close your mind in terms of accounting or in terms of bookkeeping, but I hope that you will open your mind that you are willing to learn uh, subjects that are uh, will still be useful in your life. So our first lesson will be about introduction to accounting. Okay, so I want you first to think, what is your idea when we say accounting? Okay, so I will give you time for that. So, nakaisip na ba ka mo kung ano ang accounting? Ano ang idea niyo sa accounting? So, now, we will try to start our lesson and we will see if tama pa itong ginisip niyo or tama itong inyong mga, mga ideas. Okay? So, introduction to accounting. We need to first define what is accounting. So, as what Wigand said, accounting is the process of identifying, recording, and communicating economic events of an organization to interested users. So basically, accounting is the process or the, uh, the technique of the business on how are we going to, number one, identify, how are we going to record, and how are we going to communicate economic events of an organization or an enterprise. So first question, what is economic events? So as what we have said, uh, from the word events, that means it is a transaction or it is a happening. So ano ang natabo sa business or ano ang natabo sa isa ka organization which has an economic effect. So when we say naman economic effect, it means uh, it is uh, useful for the business or it can, uh, in our sense, in accounting or in bookkeeping, it means that there is a future benefit, future cash benefit, okay? So we need to understand first, kailangan nating malaman isa-isa, ano ba yung identifying, ano pa ano ba mag-record, and paano i-communicate, okay? So when we say identifying, this involves selecting economic events that are relevant to a particular business transaction. The economic events of an organization are referred to as transactions. So examples of an economic event or transactions for a bakery business, for example, in a bakery business, number one is sales of bread and other bakery products, purchases of flour that will be used for baking, and purchases of trucks needed to deliver the products. So kailangan tayo isa isa hon. So before natin siya ma-record or before natin siya i-communicate sa future users, kailangan ta muna i-identify kung ang event ba na, event ba na to is an economic event or hindi. Okay? So again, as what it is uh, said here, economic events referred to as transactions. So basically, as we go on in our discussion, uh, uh, we will be using the term transaction and not economic events para mas madali natin siyang ma maintindihan, okay? So, I know you have an idea of what transaction is, okay? Simply lang, transaction, uh, deal, ano pa bang iba niya synonyms ng transaction? Uh, there is an exchange, okay? So, for example, dere, ang example being presented is a bakery business. 
So, uh, tinapayan. So, ano ba ang mga examples ng economic events sa tinapayan? Number one, sales of bread and other bakery products. What do we mean by sales of bread and other bakery products? Simply lang, nakabaligya ang tinapayan sa tinapay or sa sang mga, let's say, kung may mga short order, short order. Na mga lumi, uh, bihon, sutangho, di ba? Usually, subong sa mga bakery, may mga amuna sina. So, number one, or the most common economic transaction or economic event of a uh, merchandising business is sale, pagbaligya. Second, economic event is purchases of flour that will be used for baking. So, ano naman yung purchases of flour? So, simple lang, nagbakal si tinapayan sang harina para gamiton sa pagluto sang tinapay. So, ganun. And then, purchases of trucks needed to deliver the product. So, this may refer to big uh, businesses already because, di ba, usually in a small bakery, ano lang siya, parang stall lang siya. But there are also bakeries that are Uh, se- uh, selling their products on a huge volume. So, malakihan or maramihan yung order. So, bumibili daw, pagbili daw ng truck or uh, uh, vehicle para i-deliver itong mga orders nila. Okay? So, those are examples of economic events or transactions na kailangan ta siya i-identify because only those with economic those economic events or transactions are only the ones being recorded into our accounting process okay next recording so after natin ma-identify yung economic events we need now to record those economic events so recording this involves keeping a chronological diary of events that are measured in pesos. Okay? So, our uh, national currency is Philippine peso. So, we will be recording that into peso. So, iba naman yung sa ibang bansa. So, the diary referred to in the definition are the journals and ledgers which will be discussed in future chapters or in our future discussions. So, when we record events, it is on a chronological order. What do we mean by chronological order? pasunod siya sa kung ano ang nauna na tabo ng transaction. So, for example, uh, we will be recording transactions for the month of January. So, ang una kong record is syempre itong mga transactions na tabo itong January 1 and then January 2, January 3, January 4, January 5, and so on and so forth. So, kailangan nakapasunod na siya. Okay? And then we are going to record that using our currency para may meron tayong standard uh, unit of measure kasi di ba for other uh, companies they are doing businesses abroad so may ibang sang transactions nga euro may ibang sang transactions nga uh, real may ibang sang transactions nga dollars so for a standard measure we need to record all transactions Uh, locally or abroad man in pesos. Okay? So, ano ang ginaminta nga diary? Okay? Habal dari, chronological diary of events. So, ano ang buod si Lingon sang diary? So, diary is just simply uh, the tool or the material where we record our transactions. So, in accounting or in bookkeeping, we refer diary as journals and ledgers. These are the basic uh, forms or basic uh, basic materials that we are going to use journals and ledgers we will be discussing that in the future now after we record it we need to communicate our accounting or our bookkeeping reports so communicating of course through the preparation and distribution of financial and other accounting reports So, after ta siya na-identify itong economic events, after ta siya na-record sa journal, ledger, trial balance, uh, financial statements, we need now to communicate it to the user. Because uh, as, what, uh, as what we are we know, hindi lahat ng tao makakaintindi 
kapag makakita lang sila sa journal, hindi talaga niya tao makaintindi kung ano nang ledger, kung ano nang ginabutang sa ledger. Hindi talaga niya tao kabalo magintindi kung ano ang financial statements. So, one role, again, of the bookkeeper or the accountant is we need to interpret those materials and we need to interpret and give our interpretation or our idea to the user, which are, number one, which are the common users of the financial reports. So we will be discussing uh, those common users of financial reports into our future uh, uh, discussion. Now, we need, after now that we know the, uh, the, the definition of accounting, we need now to understand what is the nature of accounting, okay? So according to accounting theory, and then it's on the website, accounting is a systematic recording of financial transactions and the presentation of the related information to appropriate persons. Based on this definition, we can derive the following basic features of accounting. So again, here we presented a, a different version or a different definition of accounting, which is similar naman siya into our uh, all you, uh, parang ito na yung main or uh, objective definition. We need to have a systematic recording and presentation of related information. So, dito na-assume na siya na na-identify na yung economic events or yung transaction. So, andito yung recording and andito yung presentation or the communication process. So, based on this definition, we can derive the following basic features of accounting. Number one, accounting is a service activity. Accounting provides assistance to decision makers by providing them financial reports that will guide them in coming up with sound decisions. So, again, Accounting is a service activity. What do we mean by service activity? There are three uh, nature of businesses, okay? Number one is merchandising. Number two is manufacturing. And number three is service. So sa merchandising, ito yung mga common na ginatawag ta na buy and sell. So when we say merchandising, gabakal sila sa product, ibaligyan nila. Okay? When we say naman manufacturing, sila ang naghihimu sa product. So, nagabakal sila sa mga raw materials, i-process na ang raw materials para makahimu sila sa finished product. And then, atong finished product, amo itong ibaligyan nila. Now, in service activity, ito yung parang wala tayong uh, ano sila, intangible product, which means hindi ta siya makita, pero mabatsyagan ka lang siya. Okay? So accounting, we give assistance to decision makers, which are the commonly the management of the enterprise and some other business users. We will deal with them in the future. So uh, we will deal first with the uh, most uh, important user, which is yung management. Our financial report will give the management a guide regarding their decisions because again we know that in every decision there is a financial requirement so we need to present them kung example feasible ba if may kwarta ba ang business nagalugi ba ang business may profit ba ang business so those ideas or those reports will give now uh, an idea to the management on what they need to do in their businesses okay Another one is accounting is a process. A process refers to the method of performing any specific job step by step according to the objectives or target targets. Accounting is identified as a process as it performs a specific task of collecting, processing, and com communicating financial information. In doing so, it follows some definite steps like the collection, recording, classification, summarization, finalization, and reporting of financial data. So again, uh, ito yung first tango again siya. Ang kagayin na accounting is a process. So uh, dito gin naginumerate sila sa a more detailed process dito sa uh, collection until the reporting of financial data. But basically, yung una natin na discuss na tatlo, those are the basic uh, process of accounting or bookkeeping. 
we need to identify financial uh, economic events identification we need to report it through do a posting it in uh, through journalizing it posting to ledger and making a financial statement and we need now to communicate our financial report to the user okay so that is why it is said that accounting or similarly bookkeeping is a process accounting is both an art and a discipline accounting is the art of recording classifying summarizing and finalizing financial data the word art refers to the way something is performed it is behavioral knowledge involving a certain creativity and skill to help us attain some specific objectives accounting is a systematic method consisting of definite techniques and its proper application requires skill and expertise so by nature accounting is an art and because it follows certain standards and professional ethics it is also a discipline so again it identify lang siya that accounting is both an art and a discipline because uh, art because it it is uh, it is the art of report recording classifying summarizing and finalizing financial data so meron tayo kasi uh, there is no definite form or example example ang most common is walang definite form or definite standard of of our forms to be used or how are we going to do it pero meron nang sa talaga tayong uh, background lang so merong journal ledger trial balance financial statements so bahala na kamo kung ano ang pagformat niyo sa uh, ano ang itsura sa inyong trial balance, ano ang itsura sa inyong uh, journal, ano ang format, it depends now on you. Now, it is also a discipline because, a discipline or it is a science also because we have certain standards that needs to be met. Okay? Next, accounting deals with financial information and transactions. Accounting records, financial transactions and data, classifies this and finalizes their results given for a, speci a specified period of time as needed by their users. At every stage from start to finish, accounting deals with financial information and financial information only. It does not deal with non-monetary or non-financial aspects of such information. Okay, so we will not deal with that uh, so much. Uh, next is accounting is an information system. Accounting is recognized and characterized as a storehouse of information. As a service function, it collects, processes, and communicates financial information of an entity. This the discipline of knowledge has evolved to meet the need for financial information as required by various interested groups. So again, accounting is an information system because we are uh, collecting so much data, we are processing so much data, and we communicate. Uh, we are communicating so much data. So uh, there are a lot of information, or there are a lot of data that we deal in accounting or bookkeeping. Now we need to understand now. What is the function of accounting in business? Ano ba ang purpose or ano ang use ni accounting in the businesses? Okay? So accounting is the means by which business information is communicated to business owners and stakeholders. The role of accounting in business is to provide information for managers and owners to use in operating the business. In addition, accounting information allows business owners to assess the efficiency and effectiveness of their business operations. Prepared accounting reports can be compared with industry standards or to a leading competitor to determine how the business is doing. Business owners may also use historical financial accounting statements to create trends for analyzing and forecasting future sales. So, medyo mahaba siya, no? but basically yung concept niya is uh, in accounting or in bookkeeping, we help the businesses create the sound judgment or sound decisions. Okay? So, for example, uh, in our income statement, 
the business owners or the management of the business can use our report in income statement to determine kung may income ba ang business or nalulugi ang business. Okay? And kung may income man ang business or nalulugi ang business, the same with that, they can compare it to the performance of other competitors or to the industry. So for, what do you mean by industry? So industry is a grouping of businesses with the same nature. So for example, uh, Holy Child, ano ba ang industry ni Holy Child? So Holy Child is a school. So ang industry sa Holy Child is the school industry or the academe industry. So uh, we can determine the performance of the school by comparing the financial report uh, by our financial report with other schools in the area. So, ano ba ang performance ni Holy Child compared to, let's say, Green Valley, compared to Ramon Magsaysay, compared to NDMU. So, the management of Holy Child can use our report in accounting to determine if nag-perform ba kita well or medyo palugi kita. Okay? So accounting helps the users of these financial reports to see the true picture of the business in financial terms. So in order for a business to survive, it is important that a business owner or manager be well informed. So again, paulit-ulit lang siya na ginasabi ko, pero basically, the main concept or the main objective of accounting or bookkeeping is to help our users is to help the users of our financial reports. So the main cons uh, the main user of our financial report is the management because they are the ones to decide for the business. They can't have a sound decision if they don't have data. That is why we need or in accounting or in bookkeeping we help uh, the management to make sound decisions based on our reports. So sample scenario. Mr. Wan is a retired government employee who is good at baking. So one day, he decides to put up a bakery shop in your barangay. He renovates a portion of his house to serve as the area for the production of bread. He purchases baking equipment and raw materials to produce five different types of bread. Mr. Wan also hires Jose to help him with the baking and at the same time to be in charge of sales. Mr. Wan pays Jose on a weekly basis. So every day, Mr. Wan's wife deposits the daily cash sales in their bank account at XY Savings Bank. With the help of accounting, what possible decisions or questions of Mr. Wan can accounting provide an answer to? So again, ano ang mabuling ni accounting or ni bookkeeping kay Mr. Wan? Tandaan ta, si Mr. Wan, retired na siya. So, so wala na siya sa uh, constant flow of income out of his uh, salary. Wala na siyang salary niya ginabaton. So, ang iyang retirement pay or nakuha, naipo niya sa iyang retirement, ginpatindog niya sa bakery shop sa barangay. So, uh, Nag-hire siya sa isang katao, which is Jose, para magbulig sa iya, maghimos ang tinapay, and at the same time, in charge sa sales. Ang asawa naman ni Mr. Wan ang nag-deposit sa ilang income sa ilang bank account. So ano, ang ano sa tingin niyo ang mabulig sa accounting or sa bookkeeping kay Mr. Wan? Okay? Try to think. So, ang mabuling niya bookkeeping or ni accounting is, number one, masabat na ang pamangkot niya kung nag earn ba ang negosyo ni Mr. Wan. Is my business earning? So, we, we, we can give the idea to Mr. Wan kung nag income ba ang business niya or hindi. Number two, how much daily or monthly sales do I need in order to recover my fixed cost? So, that is what we call the break-even. What do we mean by break-even? Wala siya kita or wala siya income, wala man siya sang lugi. Sakto lang. So, ang income niya is equal sa expenses niya. So, that's break even. Do I need to hire additional workers to help me with my production? 
can I afford to set up a new store in another place? Where do I get the funds? And can I afford to pay a bank loan? So those questions can be solved or can be answered by our reports. Okay? So ito yung mga matutulong natin sa mga negosyante. Mas marami pa tayong matutulong, pero ito yung mga common answers lang. Okay? So that's the end of our uh, lesson one. So thank you everyone for viewing this video. Okay? See you!